I've always been a writer. I've always known I could write a book. The fact that I wrote a book without any help, without any collaborator, without any ghostwriter. Was your publisher shocked that uh, you were able to write the book on your own? Was, were oh, they this was a massive, oh, this was a massive battle. This was a ma- like my book agent that I was introduced to. He sat down with me at the Beverly Hills Hotel and he goes, now you're going to write a book. You're going to need some help. Let's put a little proposal together and, you know, we'll help you all along the way. And in my, you know, fires shooting out of my ears, I'm like, yes, okay, let me just give it a shot. And then I just started writing my first memory to my last and it became this kind of 60 page poem and I showed it to him and he goes, okay, well, we'll work on this and we'll maybe show it. And he goes, he called me back and he said, I've showed this to other people and I think we might actually use this proposal to show publishers. And I said, okay. Then I met publishers and they said, okay, well, we're going to think about a ghostwriter and a collaborator and... And then one lady was like, I really like your writing style. And I said, I'm only doing this if I can write it myself. And she went, okay, let's give it a shot. But if you don't, if you can't come through, we'll bring somebody in. Or we had a deal that I could walk away and they could walk away. So I worked on it and it became so close and I just needed some help shaping it. And they said, all we need is an editor. And so she edited it with me and I learned how to edit myself. I even had the page on the screen so I can make the track changes myself. I wouldn't even let them do it, I, but they helped wow. me with the editing. So it was my book. In the documentary, your mom says to you, why don't you put on some nice dresses or something like that? She's, I, I don't remember it exactly, but you say to her, nobody wants to see my body anymore. Do you really feel that way? Is that? I, you know, I went through kind of a crazy time writing the book. I mean, I started writing my book and I put on like 25 pounds. Crazy. Really? I did. You? I did. And I look back at it and I see how it was the book process because as I wrote my book, I didn't change too much. I mean, I was drinking earlier with the husband and stuff, but I um, lost it all at the end of my book. It was crazy. Mm. It was crazy. But I had a physical reaction to telling my story. It was almost like I was hanging on to something. I couldn't, you know, it was a protective, my puffy suit of armor. I don't know what it was. It was so, I just was like thinking it was some kind of protection. I don't know what it was because my body was just reacting. It wasn't like I was eating any different. I'm vegan. I eat nuts and berries. You know, I don't eat a lot, but I was, my body was changing and I thought, well, maybe I'm just getting old and this is it. And I was walking around in caftans. I mean, I look ridiculous. And my mama said, you never want to show your figure anymore. And I just felt like, what figure? And I said, you know, I just was kind of joking. But I look at that and I think, I was a mess at that time. So I kind of like that I peeled back everything, no makeup, nothing like that. And I thought, you know what, if you like me like this, if you like me at my worst, maybe you like me. 